Not good for Crosby. This it's a hit that's been played over and over, and over again, splashed across headlines. Hockey's golden boy goes on to become just another injured player in the NHL, all because of this. Concussions have been in the news a lot lately. Violence in hockey seems to be the cause of many of them. But while in the past concussions were pushed aside as a small injury, research now shows us how devastating one can be. Bad enough to cause permanent damage or even kill a career. It is a concussion, but doctors are saying now it's a, it's a minor brain injury. Jeff Singh is with the Cridge Center's Brain Injury Clinic. He's seen concussions that range from minor to severe. According to a report by the Ministry of Health Services, it's estimated that there are between 7,800 to 14,000 brain injuries sustained every year in B.C. It could be a minor concussion where, where the person is, is, is dizzy, nauseous, fatigued. It might last for a day or two. Whereas the other end, people can be severely impaired, be it physically, Mentally. While it's not straightforward, some of the things to watch for include excessive sleeping, you, confusion, he headache, and short-term memory that's loss. That's so, so, what's the best the way to heal from a guy. concussion? Like Someone breaks their arm playing hockey. They can't come back until that arm is fully healed. They, they put a cast on, they go through the physio. They're out for several months. Someone receives a concussion. They're back the next day. What's the difference between now and, say, 10 years ago? Well, now it's all about getting the rest needed before getting back into the game. Lindros makes the move, and Lindros is hammered down to the ice by Scott Stevens. Take the hits on Eric Lindros or Paul Creer, for example. And his feet on his stick. Instead of taking time off, these crushing body checks effectively spell the end of two promising careers. Those lessons are now trickling down to minor hockey. Concussions are taken pretty seriously. I mean, obviously with a head injury, it could last you the rest of your life. So, I mean, they're not taken lightly, that's for sure. And we even have guys who have very light concussion syndromes who do sit out and, you know, take the right precautions. In the 1980s or 1990s, uh, you know, we used to get a concussion, didn't know what it was, and then play the next next day. Now, uh, you know, it's you're at least out for uh, 10 days uh, before before uh, you get to go back. Although the Grizzlies have a team doctor along with trainers, it still takes a toll on a team trying to win games. This year, we've dealt with tons of injuries. All year long, we've had injuries, and it's it's tough, uh, especially when you're the coach and you wanna you, you want your best lineup every night, and you and you don't get it. While technology and innovation might help with equipment that surrounds us to protect us, it's still not a hundred percent perfect. But it's not just hockey or sports in general. Concussions can happen by falling down, whiplash in a car crash, or smacking your head up against something. It can happen to any one of us, but the key is to recognize the signs, see a doctor, and take the time to heal. In Victoria, I'm Suchetta Singh, your health and wellness specialist. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.